All right, thank you, thank you. Hello. So, service workers use them. This is uh, my title and my TLDR. So, there you go. Now, I'm Pontus. I'm passionate about mob programming. Uh, you can find me on Hauntas. There's also the slides and some links to this. Uh, I'm a JS developer. I work at a Vega Group. That's a corporate logo. This is a much cooler logo. So, uh, come find us out there and uh, collect your uh, own uh, pair programmer duck. Now, Service workers, if you don't know this guy, it's uh, Bamse, is the world's kindest bear. And uh, he can also become the world's strongest bear when he drinks his uh, thunder honey. Now, I think of service worker as uh, a developer's thunder honey. It works like this. We have a web page and uh, then we have a service worker that can intercept events like network events, uh, fetch requests, other stuff. Then we can uh, we get this nice thing, the cache API, and somebody once said, a smart guy, there are only two hard things in computer science, cache invalidation and naming things. We already had the latter problem, and now we get to have the first problem as well, so that's perfect. What are they good for? Well, we can uh, improve the user experience by uh, serving cached assets. Uh, anybody ever use their phone to surf the web? It can be quite slow sometimes. We also get to handle the offline, uh, handle offline, uh, and not as an exception, but as a part of our application or web page. Uh, and the demo is actually, I'm um, running this uh, offline. So, there you go. That's the demo. Now, the requirements of this is you have to serve it to the page uh, over HTTPS, unless you're on localhost, and no more private surfing. If you want to use service workers, no more private surfing. So, the requirements uh, or the browser support for this is uh, quite okay. We got 49% in Sweden, according to Can I Use the other day. If we look at something else, which is a single weight, we can see that that has, has a broader support. So, that means in our service workers, we can really use the edgiest, latest JavaScript. No transpilation, nothing like that. So, uh, the first thing we have to do with our service worker is to register it on the web page. Uh, we check if there's support for this, and then we call the register method with the path to our service worker. We get back a promise that resolves the registration with a scope, and the scope is uh, what parts of the page we can control. This service worker is at the top level, so we can control all levels below this. Then, uh, if that's successful, the service worker will be downloaded and parsed, and we go into our service worker and the install event. This is a perfect place for caching our static assets. So, I'm going to introduce to you the IIFI in here, in async, uh, an event wait until. It's the async immediately invoked function expression. So, we can write some uh, async await code there. First, we open up our cache. It's called Node.js version 1 right now. And then we add all our static assets to the cache. When that's done, we call self.skip waiting. We don't have to do this, but if we don't, the service worker will uh, come in a waiting state, and then the user will have to reload the page for it to come to the active state. When we come to the active state, uh, we can uh, purge our old caches, because now we have uh, our new caches in source, we can just uh, loop through the old caches uh, here, filter out the old cache names, and then uh, call caches to delete on them. We await that, and then we can call, if we don't want to wait for another reload from the user, self.clients.claim. And this means that we are taking control of all the pages that are in our scope. Now, the fun stuff begins. We can start to intercept network requests, like fetches. Uh, this is a really simple one, where we call event.respondWith. That takes a promise. That's why I have this IEFI here again. And this one, we'll see if we have a match for this request in our caches. If we do, we'll return that cached response. And if we don't, we'll just pass it on to the network. Now. Yeah, I'm on time. This, this is wonderful. Uh, if you want to uh, see some examples, some links, and uh, how the service worker for uh, my GitHub pages slides looks, uh, take a look here at Nordic.js 2.
2017. Whoa, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Pontus.